Welcome back, A Push Peeps. We have the final video for period three today. This one covers a wide range of topics, so let's get started. But before we do, I have to give a shout out to Mr. Brower's class. Mr. Brower, your class thinks the world of you. They say you work incredibly hard and are grateful that you are their teacher. So you guys rock. Thanks for watching and best of luck this year. Art, literature, and architecture following the Revolutionary War is an important topic that you should be familiar with. So national identity is going to be expressed through these art mediums. And we'll take a look at how. Beginning with art, we have Gilbert Stewart, who painted portraits of the first six presidents. So pretty much any portrait of the first six presidents that you saw were created by this dude. John Trumbull was another famous painter, and he painted pictures of key American events that really helped inspire nationalism and pride in the United States. One of his pictures is on the back of the $2 bill. It's the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Jumping over to literature, during this time period, literature will focus on freedom and defining the government. Thomas Jefferson is going to write a very important document called Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom. And you may be thinking, religious freedom, yeah, so well, what's the big deal? We have that in the Bill of Rights. That's the First Amendment. Aha! This was prior to the Bill of Rights. Under architecture, Jefferson's Monticello, his house, was has this dome on top, and that's very influential during this time. Think about the Capitol building as well and the dome on top. Pierre Charles L'Enfant was the guy who laid out Washington, D.C. and helped establish this city as the nation's capital. So jumping over to Native Americans, Natives sought to limit American expansion out west, particularly west of the Appalachian Mountains. If you think back to Pontiac's Rebellion, this is something that had been going on for several years. In 1794, we have the Battle of Fallen Timbers in Ohio, in which natives, led by this guy Little Turtle, were defeated. And unfortunately for them, they had to cede a significant amount of land to Americans under the Treaty of Grenville. So they lost a lot of land in the Northwest Territory. British alliances with natives contributed to tensions with America. Britain is going to side with many Native Americans, and this will be a major cause of the War of 1812, which we'll talk about in the next period. The Constitution gave no mention of the treatment or relations with natives. So there's really no blueprint for how to make treaties with natives or how the U.S. should engage with them, and this will cause some issues later on. Treaties were not always enforced, especially by states if there was a federal treaty, and this is seen in period four with the Indian Removal Act, which we'll get to in a couple videos. Frontier cultures developed out west, especially beyond the Appalachian Mountains, and as Americans moved westward, distinct frontier cultures will develop, and when I talk about the frontier, what I mean is basically where civilization meets the wilderness. So on the outskirts of where most people lived in the United States. An example of this is the Scots-Irish or the Paxton Boys located west of Philadelphia. They tended to settle on the frontier edges of settlement. They settled on land without regard for ownership, whether it belonged to state governments, the federal government, natives. They may be identified as what we call the squatters, people who just settle on land that is not owned by them. They displaced and suppressed Native Americans. There were conflicts with natives, of which many natives died as a result of the Paxton Boys. This illustrates tensions between the poor or the backcountry and the wealthy because these people did not have land so they began to go to the backcountry or areas where land did not belong to them. All right, we'll end this video with a quick recap. Art, architecture, and literature in regards to national identity be able to identify and explain one aspect of each. Native Americans under the Constitution be familiar how there is no definition of the relationship mentioned in the Constitution. Paxton Boys and Frontier Culture as well. And that is it for Pier 3. Congratulations, you are 27% done with this curriculum. Look forward to seeing you back here for video 19, beginning of period four. Thanks for watching. Best of luck on all your tests, especially if you have a period three one and have a good day.